Prigozhin appealed to the prosecutor's office regarding the leaders of the Russian army. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group, said that he had asked prosecutors to investigate crimes committed by senior Russian defense officials. According to him, these crimes committed by them before and during Moscow's military campaign in Ukraine. Prigozhin gained widespread notoriety for his public rants against the Russian elite and military top brass, and he repeatedly singled out Shoigu and Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov. Today, I have sent letters to the Investigative Committee and the Prosecutor's Office of the Russian Federation with a request to check on the fact of the commission of a crime during the preparation and during the conduct of the special military operation by a host of senior functionaries of the Defense Ministry. These letters will not be published due to the fact that the investigative authorities will deal with this, Prigozhin said. Besides, Prigozhin denied planning a coup against President Vladimir Putin, saying his army lacked the personnel needed while alluding to Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu as being in a position to be capable of toppling Putin, according to a report. Former commander of pro-Russian forces in eastern Ukraine, Igor Girkin, had on Saturday accused Prigozhin of preparing for a coup and labelled the Wagner boss's insults against the armed forces and top defence officials as criminal. In fact, with his statements, Prigozhin made a step towards mutiny, said Girkin according to a video shared by War Translated, an independent organisation which translates Ukraine war materials. He added, if Prigozhin remains the head of Wagner, the mutiny will come quickly and radically. A coup attempt has been declared. What will happen next? I don't know, especially as Wagner is urgently withdrawn to rear bases. The danger of a looming coup is clear, Girkin said. But Wagner chief claimed to maintain good relations with Putin. Meanwhile, he subtly indicated that the person well-positioned and capable of staging a coup was the defense minister because he has access to the Russian special forces.